July 16, the world's largest hydropower station, the Three Gorges Dam, opens 11 floodgates. Since June, continuous heavy rains upstream of the dam have caused the Three Gorges Dam's water level to reach an astonishing 165 meters, exceeding the normal level. Moreover, the second flood of the Yangtze River is approaching. To handle the massive flood peak, the Three Gorges Dam has reopened 11 floodgates after four years. This year also marks the 30th anniversary of the construction of the Three Gorges Dam. Every flood season, the Three Gorges Reservoir, with a total capacity of 39.3 billion cubic meters, presents significant challenges to downstream cities each time it releases floodwaters. After the flood discharge, the water levels in downstream cities have risen significantly. As of 3 p.m. on the 16th, the water level at the Hankou station has reached 26.82 meters, exceeding the warning level by 1.82 meters. Relevant departments have stated that they have set up 2,024 kilometers of flood barriers, with 745 kilometers above the warning level. More than 30,000 personnel are patrolling the riverbanks. The situation currently appears to be very severe. Upstream of the Three Gorges Dam, multiple regions including Hunan and Sichuan have been continuously hit by heavy rains. Streets are flooded, houses have been destroyed, and hundreds of thousands of residents are affected. This has severely disrupted the daily lives of the local people. From 7 a.m. on July 14 to 7 a.m. on July 15, parts of southern Nanyang City in Hunan experienced extremely heavy rainfall. The precipitation in Wadian, Nanyang City, reached 408 mm, setting the record for the heaviest rainfall in Hunan this year. The maximum precipitation was recorded at Dafenjing Station in Sheki County, reaching 638.5 mm. <laughs> Hunan, being a major agricultural province, has seen continuous rainfall that has devastated crops. Urban areas are experiencing severe waterlogging, with many houses flooded. Vehicles parked along the streets have almost completely submerged tires. Some residents have reported water levels reaching waist high in certain areas. Local residents have expressed that they have never witnessed such heavy rainfall before. An elderly person at home remarked that this rainfall is comparable to the storm from 30 years ago. Currently, the village where they reside has been submerged, surrounded by fields where crops such as corn and vegetables are now completely soaked in water, resulting in severe losses.
On July 16, Hunan Province initiated a Level 1 flood response. They dispatched a total of 215 firefighters and 46 fire trucks, along with other rescue equipment, to heavily affected areas for rescue operations. Additionally, over 40 civilian rescue teams are en route to provide assistance. According to meteorological reports and current water conditions, many reservoirs in the region have exceeded their warning levels and are releasing floodwaters in stages. This has further exacerbated the difficulties faced by the local population. The Hunan Provincial Meteorological Observatory upgraded to a red alert for heavy rain on the same day. People are advised to take precautions. The government and related departments are fulfilling their responsibilities in emergency response and disaster relief operations. Measures such as suspending gatherings, classes, non-essential businesses, and unnecessary outdoor activities are being implemented. Necessary measures for defense against and rescue from disasters such as flash floods, landslides, and debris flows are also being undertaken. <laughs> Meteorological experts indicate that since early July, the northward movement of the Western Pacific Subtropical High has settled over the Huanghuai region. This has resulted in the continuous transport of warm and moist air from the southwest, creating a highly unstable atmosphere with high energy and moisture levels. As northern cold air moves southward and converges with intensified southwest jets over western Huanghuai, it has led to the formation of this recent period of heavy rain and torrential rain. The release of unstable energy combined with terrain uplift has favored the occurrence of localized extreme heavy rainfall. It is expected that this round of heavy rainfall will continue until the 18th, with today and tomorrow being the peak period of heavy rainfall. Heavy to torrential rains are expected in southwest and central eastern parts, including parts of Shangqiu, Zhoukou, Xuchang, Luaha, eastern Nanyang, eastern Pingdingshan, and southern Kaifeng, where some counties and cities may experience severe local rainfall. It is advised for everyone to take precautionary measures in advance. <laughs>